Good evening. It's great to be here. Yesterday, I was at Kari Kari. <laughs> you know, there's only one Indian restaurant at Kari Kari. It's called Kari Kari Kari. Don't worry, don't worry. My English is very, very good. Very, very good. I've been going to English classes, isn't it? <laughs> the teacher, she is telling me, what is your name? I am telling to her, what is not my name? <laughs> oh, that's a great accent, isn't it, the Indian accent? <laughs> you know, mine's inherited. It must be. I mean, Dad's Indian, Mum's Australian, I was born in Melbourne. Dad doesn't have an accent. You know, I was in India last year, and I'd be having a couple of beers talking to my cousins, and one of my cousins said to me, do we really talk like that? <laughs> I said, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I went up to a taxi, I said to the driver, will you take me to the city? He said, <laughs> That's inherited too. Well, what's that? It's not yes. It's not no. So I don't know, fucking maybe. That was only last week in Sydney. Oh boy. It's a great accent, the Indian accent. You, you know, you'll often hear an Indian accent when you answer the phone right up to the time. Am I right? Yeah. Am I the only person in the room that hangs up on them? No, I didn't think so. But it's all very well for you, Lot. I'd hang up on one of my cousins. <laughs> but uh, in fact, when I was in India last year, it was in the forecourt of the Taj Mahal, I rang my sister in Kempsey. She bloody hung up on me. <laughs> Bitch. You know, when I was growing up, one of my favourite shows on TV was a British comedy called Mind Your Language. It's back on again now, actually, you know, and. Uh, it was about an English class for migrants. And one day the headmistress was taking the class, she came in, she said to the class, I'd like someone to give me a sentence with the word swarm in it. And the Pakistani guy jumped to his feet, yes please miss, yes please miss. It's cold in Antarctica, but it's swarming Pakistan. <laughs> when I was growing up, one of my favorite, uh, no, 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 when I was growing up, like most kids, I played cowboys and Indians. It's never allowed to be a fucking cowboy. <laughs> I always had to be an Indian. Get up the backyard and make yourself a bow and arrow, you black bastard. <laughs> so much wrong with that joke. Oh uh, boy. How's everyone going? Having a good time? You happy? I'm really depressed. They told me the comedy was on here tonight, I said, put me down. They said, oh, okay, you're a useless, lazy prick. <laughs> wasn't quite what they had in mind. You know, I've been so depressed, I had a sickie yesterday. I rang the boss and said, I'm not coming in. He said, what's wrong with you? I said, I've got anal glaucoma. He said, you've got what? I said, I've got anal glaucoma. He said, what the fuck's that? I said, I can't see my ass coming to work today. <laughs> but I've been so depressed I ring Lifeline. And like a lot of companies, Lifeline's outsourced a lot of its work to Pakistan. <laughs> so I found myself talking to a Pakistani counsellor telling him all my problems. Well, after a while, I thought, you know, this guy must be sidelining recruiting suicide bombers. <laughs> because when I told him how depressed I'd been, that I'd been feeling quite suicidal, he said, can you drive a truck? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm often introduced to the group of young up-and-coming comics. Well, quite clearly, I'm not young. It's a miracle I'm still up. <laughs> 
You know, in my younger days, I tried a few different drugs. Of course, I didn't inhale. <laughs> you don't inhale, do you? In fact, I almost got a magic mushroom stuck up my nose. <laughs> I don't inhale, but that's another story. But it seems that at this stage in my life, the only drugs I'm getting to try are things like gastric reflux medication, <laughs> blood pressure pills, and Viagra. Did you know since they've invented Viagra, they've found all these other uses for it? The one you're probably all familiar with is they use it in nursing homes to stop the old men from rolling out of bed at night. <laughs> but they've also found that it's excellent in the treatment of gout. It keeps the weight of the sheet off your toe. <laughs> Any palms in? Any palms in tonight? Apparently the palms don't, uh, you'll be able to tell me this is true or not, apparently the palms don't uh, swallow their vagrant tabs, they suck on them, which accounts for their stiff upper lip. <laughs> but it might be true. There's a band here on Nelson Bay called uh, Vagra Falls. They don't play hard rock, they play rock hard. Once they've got you up to dancing, they creep out there for hours. They make you want to come again. And I hope you come again. Thank you very, very much. I'm so chuffed. Uh, and the reason I got transferred is because my boss down there said that I was immature.